Okay, uh, so my name's Harry Giles. I'm a writer and performer. Um, and I'm here at the book festival with a project called Outriders, which has sent five uh, Scottish writers on journeys across the Americas, partnering with local writers um, to investigate, to find out about a, a whole range of issues. So it's uh, travel writing with a bit of a spin. So the journey that I took with Outriders was with the Canadian Métis writer, Katrina Vermet, uh, who's a poet and novelist. Um, and we journeyed from Montreal west to Winnipeg and then north to Churchill on the edge of Hudson Bay. Um, and what I was looking at in particular was the role of my home, Orkney, uh, in the, the colonisation of Canada. Um, so Orkney men particularly were very involved in the Hudson Bay Company, usually as labourers, and sailed all the way over uh, from Stromness in Orkney, landing near what's now Churchill, Manitoba, and many migrated south as well. So I wanted to look at that historical legacy and the connections that are still there. I, I'd never met Katerina before we did the project, although I had read her books, which are marvellous, so that gave me a bit of an insight. And I admired the books so much that I uh, was very nervous at the start. My first reaction was, was nerves, um, because I, I liked her writing so much. Um, but in the end, we, I think we travelled really well together. Um, we're, both <laughs> we're both quite quiet people, um, so there was lots of like companionable silence and writing in journals, followed by long rambling conversations about history and politics and culture over food um, and we went on some interesting walks together, saw interesting places together. I enjoyed myself very much. So the journey uh, reached its climax in Churchill, Manitoba, which is on the edge of Hudson Bay, um, right at the end of winter. So everything was still covered in ice. There was still snow. It was minus 20, minus 30 with wind chill. Very, 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 very cold. Um, and I, I was there tracking uh, Orcadian settlers to find out more about what that experience had been like on, on both ends of settler colonisation. And in Churchill, I found um, the local graveyard was entirely full of what I recognised as Orkney names. Sinclair, uh, Omen, Spence, Flett, names that I knew from growing up. There was even a street in Churchill named after Orkney. But most of those graves were from people who had reintegrated into the indigenous community there, but the names were still carried down. And that, for me, especially in that graveyard, really made clear to me the the extent of the historical connection and how intertwined our histories are and how much Scotland has to face up to about its role in what was often an extraordinarily destructive process and that legacy is, is left in the names of places and people throughout Manitoba. So while I was travelling with Outriders I did a lot of um, sort of on-the-go travel writing. I wrote a regular blog at various stages of my journey and that was particularly looking at um, language and uh, or bits of Orcadian history that were found in Canada with a focus on, on looking at, at the legacy of, of settler colonization in Canada. Um, so I did a, a huge amount of writing um, while I was there. I think it ended up, I just kept going and I think it ended up being 10 or 12,000 words or so. And then um, some worked up versions of that have appeared as essays both in the Outriders book and there's one forthcoming in Northwards now. And I've also produced a small poetry collection as a result of all of the project as well. So, so I think there's two books and a number of other publications that have come out of it for me. And I know that for the other writers involved, there's a huge number of different strands of projects. Plus, I get to go back to Canada in September, which is nice. Um, for me as a writer, Outriders has been an extraordinary opportunity to, to broaden my horizons. It's taken me on a, a more extensive trip to some more unusual places than really anything else I've ever done before and I've been able to meet people uh, working in a huge range of different forms of writing and arts that I would never otherwise have met. So that's, that's really kind of broadened the, the scope of material, of uh, inspiration that I've been able to, to draw on and, and brought my work to new places as well, which really leads to some pretty grand opportunities for me, especially at uh, an early stage of my career. And then for the, the project as a whole, I think that each of the Scottish writers has found Mm, less talked about parts of the Americas, or at least less talked about in Europe, to, to go to um, some very interesting writers to be partnered with. 
And so the stories that we're trying to tell and the voices that we're trying to amplify, I think, are, are important for Scotland, for Britain to, to listen to at the moment. That there's some very important voices that run often different to the narratives that we've inherited in school or university or the narratives that we continue to inherit, inherit via the, the media. Um, and that's, that gives us some really new perspectives on, I think, a wide range of, of really vital issues to do with how we relate to, to Europe and the Americas and everything in between.